Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. We got some beer mail. This box comes from Nick. Uh, I had him pick me up some beers uh, out there where he's at. And I'm pretty sure he's he is in Santa Barbara, California. So, uh, big box of beers. Big box of beers. Alright, first one out of the box is a can. This is Swami's. This is Swami's IPA, India Pale Ale. 6.8% alcohol by volume, brewed in can by Pizza Port Brewing. And I've done several of their beers already. Uh, real colorful can. <laughs> Uh, got a guy playing a, a flute usually where a cobra's coming up out of the basket, but this has got a spigot coming up and it, it's spewing out the beer into the glass. Uh, pretty nice can. And this is a big can. This is a 16 ounce can. They're in Carlsbad, California, and this says it was canned on 10 28 of 2014. So, uh, about six weeks old. So, that should be fairly tasty. Alright, the next one in here uh, looks like a, oh, it's a cork and cage bottle. This is Sanctification from Russian River. Ooh wee, never had that one. The only thing I've had from Russian River was a Pliny a couple years ago that somebody sent me, one of my subs sent me back then, and it was pretty damn awesome. It was delicious. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was a very tasty IPA. Uh, and I hear they come to New York or, or Pennsylvania somewhere. So that's the closest I can get it here on the East Coast and not been able to score any. I think everything that comes East is sucked up off the shelves or, or out of the box as soon as it shows up at the store. So. But this is sancti Sanctification. It is a sour blonde fermented in this bottle. Fermented with 100% bread to my seas. So it's going to have a nice punk to it. And this says bottled on... 05314. It says age in a cool dark place. So this was put in the bottle on May the 30th. It is a 6.7% alcohol by volume beer. And it is a uh, sour blonde. So maybe I can get my arms around this beer. Uh, trying to get into the sours a little bit more. So we'll see uh, we'll see how this one goes. But I'm um, uh, I'm happy to get some of these Russian River beers. Uh, like I said, I can't get my hands on them here in Virginia. Alright, the next one out of the box. Oh, this is a gonna be a good one. When I was in California, my good friend Leandro met me, or, or actually took me over to uh, Lengthwise, and we had a few other beers and grabbed some lunch there. And then his... Uh, his lovely wife drove us up to Kern River and we had some beers up there and it was a long haul from where we were at there in Bakersfield. It was about an hour and a half one way up in the mountains and uh, very tasty beers. Very, very tasty beers. And this is their Kern River Brewing's Winter Ale. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I know this is probably going to be a real tasty beer and I'm pretty sure they're not dating their stuff. Uh, they're a fairly small brewery. I mean, I, I don't even think they go out of California anywhere. I mean, unless you're in a surrounding area there in California, you can't get your hands on these things. So, I'm, I'm glad to get this. I really am. The, uh, looking for the ABV. And it doesn't say, so we'll, we'll find out what it is when we look it up. And we'll end up with a bunch of beers out of this box. This is a big box. This box holds uh, three, six, nine, holds twelve beers. I don't think, I don't know if there's twelve of them in here. We're going to see here. Alright, the next hole, if it has anything in it. Now, there's an empty hole there, so there's nothing in that one. Alright, the next hole here. This is. Berry Public Racer X double IPA. I've had the Racer 5. Uh, 
From what I hear, this is a limited edition beer. Uh, Sonoma County Ales, Racer X is an uncommon double, uh, uncommon double IPA, which puts a California twist on English brewing traditions by adding a third of hop aroma and bitterness that complements the firm, uh, firm malt backbone. Uh, like its little brother, Racer 5, Racer X, is balance in a bottle. Brewmaster notes, keep cold, respect life, real ale is live yeast, is good, serve at 45 to 50 degrees. So, uh, not had this one. And, not sure if it's going to have any dating on it. It's really hard to see uh, a lot of times with the beer in it. So we'll take a closer look when we do it. And it's got a little bit of sediment in the bottom of it. Swirling around. So hopefully once we chill it down it'll uh, it'll calm down a little bit and maybe harden up a little bit in the bottom but we'll see. But anyway, let me get this up here where y'all can see it. Alright. That was the next hole. Let's see what this hole's got in it. This is alright, this is another one from Russian River. This is Consecration. Ale aged in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels with currants added. Fermented in the bottle. My peanuts are sticking off to my hands, static electricity. And it's just going, sticking to me, going everywhere. So, 10% uh, alcohol by volume. This is bottled on 08, 11, uh, 14. It's a 10 percenter now. Consecration. So, I'm going to slide this can around to the back and put this up beside the sanctification. Alright, the next hole. Next hole here. Peanuts are going everywhere. Little bitty pieces of peanuts. Alright. This one, it looks like another Russian River. It's a jackpot on the Russian River beers. Alright, this is Damnation. Fermented in the bottle. Golden Ale. 7.75% alcohol by volume. This is bottled on 10, 24 of 14. So, uh, about, uh, about six weeks old. Somewhere, somewhere in that vicinity. So, fairly fresh version of this beer. And I'm not going to read all the stuff off the back of it or anything. Uh, there's quite a few beers in this box. And it's probably going to end up being a 20 minute video on a beer mail. So, this is very nice. So, let me take this up. Put it over here. And set this one up in the front where you can see it. So three very nice Russian River beers that I cannot get my hands on around here. And I always wanted to try these beers, guys. Finally going to be able to get my, my chance to do it. Alright, the next one he's got in here. Wow, look at here. Looks like another one. This is Salvation Dark Ale from Russian River. And this is also fermented in a bottle, Dark Ale. 9.5% alcohol by volume, and this was bottled on 1010 of 2014. So, this is about two months old, just a hair over two months old. So, I'm going to set that up there. And like I said, I'm not going to read all this stuff that's on the bottom, I mean, on the back of the bottle on these guys. We'll read it when we do the beer reviews. Alright, the next hole here. Now this one's in a, got it in a bag too. Alright, this is Firestone collaboration with Three Floyds. This is Old Leghorn. And it's got a bottle on date of 53014. It is it doesn't say. Alcohol 10.5 by volume. But it doesn't say. 
it doesn't say what kind of beer it is. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get into by having this one, but it definitely has a date on it. And uh, it's Old Leghorn. Nice uh, label, got the old rooster up on the front of it. And uh, Firestone makes some awesome stuff, and Three Floyds makes some awesome stuff. So, uh, set that up there where y'all can see the big old rooster on the front of that one. Alright, the next hole here. Well, according to the cap, this is a Russian. Oh, look at here, look at here. Pliny the Elder. So, I'm going to finally get to do another one. And I'm going to probably review this one again, guys. So, it's been a couple years since I reviewed it. And I don't get my hands on it often enough to, to not review it. So I'm going to re-review this beer. Uh, not sure. Yep. Bottled on 11, 18, 14. So this is, this is not even a month old. 8% alcohol by volume. I can't wait to have this. When I had it the last time, it was awesome. It was really awesome. So let me slide this back. Get the Pliny up there. A lot of people ask me where they can get this beer. I mean, unless you know somebody, they can get their hands on it. Uh, if you're not in the area it's produced, you're just SOL like I am. Unless you get somebody to send it to you, that's uh, that's the way that that's the way that works. Uh, I mean, a lot of people have been trying to get their hands on that beer. If you can't find somebody to trade it to you, or or pick it up for you, or buy it from, you're just you're just out of luck. Alright, this is another one from Russian River. I got the jackpot on Russian River beers on this haul. Really did. This is Redemption, which is a blonde ale. And fermented in the bottle. This is a 5.15% alcohol by beer, by, by volume beer. And this was a, a bottled on 03 21 14. So this one was done back in March, and it's only a 5%er. And it's a blonde ale. So this one's a little past its prime, in my opinion. So, uh, Probably ought to review this one pretty quick. Uh, this blonde ales are meant to be kind of fresh too, but it is what it is. So this one was done uh, back in March, so we probably ought to do that one pretty quick too. Uh, that one is uh, probably a little past its shop life. And the last hole we have here, another Russian River. So, this is suppl supplication. So, this is uh, ale aged in Pinot, Pinot, Pinot Noir barrels with cherries added, fermented in the bottle. A 7.7% alcohol by volume beer. And it was bottled on 07-11 of 2014. So, this was done back in July. But, it's a 7.75 percenter. And it just says it's ale, sour ale aged 3 to 15 months. And it's been aged in this bottle since July. So uh, that's where we're at on these. So look at all the Russian River beers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got seven Russian River beers to review for you guys. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so, Nick, thanks again for picking these up for me. Uh, uh, I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, we're going to get these things chilled down into the uh, fridge in there and uh, get them ready to be drank and reviewed for you guys. So, speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. <laughs> 